What's going on guys? This is Glendon Cameron over at Savage Finance and I've got some really good news for you. I have relaunched Hustlers Kung Fu University. Now what is that? These are common sense basic courses help you make more money. Check out Resale Toolbox, how to flip stuff for money. We'll be talking about that. We'll probably be having a channel uh, challenge about that. The Money Management Deep Money Pack, H Undergrad, The Art of Holding. And this is, let me go ahead and tell you what you can get into and what you should get. You should roll over to H Undergrad. And I made this very affordable and the price isn't going to change. You can get in for $30. 50 pay, for 30 payments of $50, or you can do uh, 15 payments or 100 bucks. And what this does, this gives the average person the education that they need to make money. Once again, I'm not going to sit up here and blow smoke up your booty and say you're going to be doing 10, 15, 20,000. But this curriculum is designed to get you to $1,500 to $5,000 per month while you keep your job. So there's a lot in here and there's a pathway because I'm not just going to sell you this and not tell you how to use it. Under the video is going to be the schematic of what you should do first, what you should do second, what you should do third. And if you sign up for Hustlers University today, you have five months of training before you. It's already there. It's already stuff that you need to do. And this can help you avoid being reset because we'll be talking about this and a lot more on Savage Finance. So the pathway is going to be under the video and it's going to be in the first link. And it's going to be a link to where you can go ahead and get into this and get started working on your economic future. Plus, check this out. What I will do, because, the you know, this is like undergrad and this is like grad school. So once you go through Hustlers Kung Fu University and get your first business up and running, that's very important. And then if when you're ready, I will send you. A link with a discount off of the corporate papers for you know if you pay a thousand bucks I'll take a thousand bucks off the corporate papers and you can jump in the corporate papers and there will be a special payment plan for people who have completed Hustlers Kung Fu University once again the goal is to get you guys hustling to get you guys making money and to get you to fifteen hundred to five thousand dollars per month on top of your job. Because when I started my first business, I didn't quit my job. I kept my job. So I had two revenue streams. And that's what I want you to have, a minimum of two revenue streams. So the link's below, the pathway's below, and I will see you guys in this video. What's going on, guys? Today was a great day. I feel my life is getting better and better. I know that many of you think that everything that happens on the internet is the be all be all, but a lot of you guys are not living in the real world and you're on the internet and you're not actually participating in life. Cause right now I have people who are praying for my demise, but before we get into all that, shout out to all of the people who support Glendon Cameron. You make my heart full, man. Y'all just, y'all have made me so proud. I am so proud. I have great affection for each and every one of you. And I really appreciate the support because y'all have been duking it up with the Dusties. You've been duking it up with the dissenters and going back and forth. I love it. I love it. So thank you. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. And Let's talk about this global reset. I am seeing why so many people are going to be reset. And they don't have to be reset. They're going to be reset because most of America is stupid. Right now, if you before I get to them, you'll see all these comments. You'll be in jail soon. 
don't drop the soap. And I'm like, you don't even understand how our legal system works. Let me explain something to you. Recently, I had a few cars stolen. And you know what I have to do? I have to report the car stolen, right? And if they're not caught in the car, I have to go downtown and file out an arrest warrant based on the fact that I filed a police court. There, there are steps to this. Let's put it this way. I can file a stolen police car report and if it's not past the five days, the police could catch this person driving my vehicle and they can't arrest him. Y'all don't, most of America is so stupid. Y'all have no clue how the law works. None whatsoever. Oh, you're going to jail. And I, I love these. I reported you to the FBI. <laughs> Congratulations, man. You really did something. The FBI, they've not contacted me. Nor has Atlanta PD or Sandy Springs. No, none of them. And you want to know why they're not contacting me? Because most of you stupid clowns have no clue how the law works. And I'm going to give you a little primer. Number one, look, I'm going to say this. Let's say I had sex with a 15-year-old. That's what y'all want to hear. I had sex with, I fucked a 15-year-old. Fucked her in the ass, too. Made her swallow my cum. I did all that, right? And let's say this happened 15 years ago. And she decides to come forward today at the age of 25. Guess what they're going to tell her? You waited too late. That's what they're going to tell her. You waited too late. There ain't nothing we can do. And I was like, that's not how the statute of limitations works. See, Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, Jeffrey Epstein, these guys had a pattern of behavior that went on for decades. I didn't do that for decades. I don't have a pattern of behavior. And people, I, I pray that your victims come forward. There are no victims. And you people are so stupid. And that's why your ass is going to get reset. Let me tell you what I did. Because I operate in the real world. I have a business in the real world. I got up this morning and I had to do some car rental stuff and I left the house at eight and I didn't get back home to six working, doing car stuff. And let me tell you what happened when I came home. I live in the high rise and I love it. <laughs> I love this place. I love that view. Uh, I'm really beginning to like the people in this building. I don't even know them. Everyone is so friendly. So I'm getting off and I'm, I'm a little tired because I had a lot to do today. And there are these two gorgeous women, not, oh, no, they're gorgeous. I mean, one is a blonde, blue eyes, some nice red lipstick, and she had this sequin dress on. And the other one, she was a brunette. She was equally stacked. And, you know, they start talking to me. It's like, hey, what do you got going on? Just like that. And I was like, hey, I work today. I'm going to go upstairs and watch some football. What are y'all doing? We're going to a disco party. And I had a nice, engaging conversation. Like, what's your name? What's your name? I am Glendon. All right, see you around. Nice to meet you, neighbor. That's what's happening. Not one. As much as you clowns want everyone to be like you, stupid, dumb, unaccomplished, don't have nothing going on in life except you want to come around and leave a disparaging comment on all my YouTube channels. Now, let me go ahead and talk about this. There are people who are wealthy, who are productive, who saw that video and they didn't like it. But these same people, you know, they're not going around leaving all these comments on my YouTube channels. You want to know why? Because they're busy. They got a life. See, you, my dear dumbass, don't have a life, and you're going to be one of the people who are going to be the first to be reset because you're spending like literally. All right, ladies, I'm about to say something. I don't date black chicks. There's one black chick that I dated who has many white girl attributes. She's from California. She's a Cali black girl. She is slim and she's very cute and she's very feminine and she's very ladylike. But for the record, I don't date black women. 
And there's some stuff like supposedly this black chick came forward and said I molested her. And I'm like, I don't date black women. And you guys who on this channel, you know this. You've seen my receipts. You've seen what I put up when I had the OnlyFans. How many black women you saw on there? Zero. And it, it's kind of funny, but you got people who are making up lies, who are saying some stuff. And people, like I said, I don't watch the videos because they're made by people with no names, no success. I've written books. I produce online college level cur cur curriculum, excuse me. Name one, name some of the accomplishments of all these folks who could, pedo, who could leave a disparaging, that's all they can do. That's all they can do. And my life is getting better and better. Um, once again, you know, it's starting to die down. I can put up a video and instead of having like 90% dislike ratio, it's like 60, it's 70, it's like 20, 30%. And over time, that's going to go away. Because see, dummies, how much money you make leaving these comments on my videos? Zero. And see, that's where you, that's where you, that's why you're going to be reset. That's why you're going to be globally reset. Because one of the things that I have seen and I'm beginning to understand is that people don't know how to be gainfully occupied. They don't know how to run their lives. They don't know. People are, there's two groups of people. There's two groups of people. There are people who, well, there's several groups of people. There are people who don't know, who are not taking action, but if they did know, they would take action. And there's a group of people that they're not taking action. They're just out here living. And if they, if they did know, they still wouldn't take action. And then there's another group of people over here who are taking action, kicking ass, taking names. And most of you folks with this comment stuff are going to be reset. And I'm going to laugh as I look down on you because I live in the high rise. I'll be looking down on you and I'll be laughing. I was like, ah, got reset because you invest your time in silly stuff. I mean, silly stuff. Like, you know, it's got all hot and everyone's talking about it and everyone's making videos about it. And for some YouTube creators, these videos made them money. For some of them. For some of them, it, for most of y'all, ain't making you any money. Ain't making you any money. And also, I want to talk about those of you who are going to do this. Where you spend your time is where your money is. This is why I have not made any diss videos of anyone who made a video and just... See, I've, I've been on YouTube 12 years. I know what can happen, because see, I refuse to allow the nameless, unaccomplished, perpetually stupid people to allow, to, det to detract me, to get me off my path. Because first time this happened, oh man, that was horrible. It was horrible. This time, I'm used to it. So while you're out here leaving all this stuff, I'm out here living my life, making money. Yeah, making money. Oh, oh, oh. And this is something else too. Once again, shout out to the supporters of Glendon Cameron. They don't like you guys that you support me. They don't like, I saw this one comment, Glendon helped me make money. What have you done for me? It ain't about making money. Sometimes we, you know, it was just like, we got to look past money. We have to look at the morality. And he's like, I ain't looking at that. I'm looking at this dude helped me make money. And they, they, and when, when y'all come at them like that, they're like, but forget the money. Be poor like me. Be broke like me. Be unaccomplished like me. And this is why these folks are going to get reset. Because when I started like talking back, I'm like, most of you guys are broke. And one guy's like, yeah, so what? I'm broke. At least I'm not a pedo. I'm like, dude, you really, really, um, you're really reaching on this. You're really reaching on this. It's just, it's just wild. It is, um, crazy how people, are
putting out these false narratives, it's one thing. I, the video's up. You can see what I said. You can see what I said. But now people have put their additional spin on it. And I am waiting for another black woman to come up and say I molested her. I am waiting for that. And if you guys see any woman who on the YouTube saying, oh, he molested me, please let me know so I can sue that bitch. Because here's the thing during the Craigslist protocols. There were no black women. Not even one. There were no black women. And I'm going to talk about that. You know why I don't date black women? Is it because they're too hard and too tough? Mm -mm. I had nothing to do with it. You know why I date white women? I had a stay-at-home mother. And it is much easier for me to socially interact with someone with a similar background. That's it. You know, I, don't, I mean, some of the most amazing, beautiful women on the planet are black women. That ain't my issue. My issue is the socialization and the ability to have reciprocity and talk. And I just get that much, much easier with a white girl. Like, I, I do believe this gorgeous woman I saw in the elevator, if I asked her to go out for drinks, she would go. I just got that vibe that she would go. And I was dressed in my black pants, black shirt, cook. I was just going to check mail. I was just going to check mail. So that's something else that you guys don't like. Once again, you know, shout out to the people who support Glendon Cameron. But for the dissenters, you don't like the fact that I'm more successful than you. I said that. Yeah, I said that. I am way more successful than you. I am way more successful than your little broke ass leaving comments on there. That's all you can do. You can't write a book. You can't teach a class. You cannot develop a community. You cannot build a successful YouTube channel. All you can do is be a demo person and try to tear something down. And once again, I'm going to start collaborating with folks. It won't be with black folks. Not that many. You want to know why? Because what I have learned from this experience, because there are some people who knew this stuff because I haven't hit it. I talked about it for years who knew this stuff. And then they started jumping on the other side and saying stuff. And they already knew I did not say anything. I haven't been saying and it, it's so horrible. All the black men are all, all of the weak, moist black men. Cause I'm going to tell you something. If you saw this 17 year old, you would have tried to fuck her too. See a lot of you are fucking hypocrites. You would have tried to do it too if you saw her because she didn't look like she was 17. She looked like she was about 23, 24, 25. You would have tried to hit it too. You sanctimonious assholes. Well, you know, once again, and shout out to Mr. Lucario. <laughs> he weighed in on the subject. I saw his commentary. It was pretty good. And here's another thing. And to all the black women and the white women, I haven't really seen any Asians. I've seen a few black, most of the black women. I've seen a few white women who are leaving comments, who are leaving edited comments on all of my channels. I don't want you. I know you're trying to get my attention. You're going from channel to channel, from Instagram. To, I don't want you. I don't want you. You ain't my type. I don't want you. It just like, stop trying to get my attention with your well crafted three and four and five paragraph comments where you got to say all this stuff. I mean, really, there are children who are starving in the world. There are people who are suffering in the world. Yet you're worried about, I fucked a 17 year old 20 years ago. That's the biggest thing in your damn day. There are real problems and real issues out there that you're not addressing. You don't know why? Cause you don't give a fuck. You don't really care. This is just something that you can sink your teeth in cause it's so salacious. That's all, that's all. So the, the moral majority is broke. I got this thing called illegal, illegal. 
You know what? You know, there's there's legal and there's illegal, illegal, illegal. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example. When I was running a retail operation at my warehouse, in my lease, I wasn't supposed to do that, which is why the upscale garage sale was open on Saturdays when code enforcement was closed. I will do illegal, illegal stuff all day long. If this is things that doesn't hurt anyone, doesn't rob anyone, doesn't cheat anyone, I'll do that all day long. And, you know, it is interesting how all of these folks have to weigh in on something that really ain't none of your damn business. That's what's so funny. Because I'm seeing a lot of you weren't, didn't have parents, you were raised by animals. Because what you're doing, you, you, you feel that you're like, coming over here and let me know, sure. I, I don't really want to know what you're thinking. I really don't give a damn. But what you're doing is coming to my house and being disrespectful and then getting mad when I delete your disrespectful comments. Guys, for the people who support Glendon Cameron, these folks are so heavily invested in their comments that he's deleting comments, he's deleting comments, he's deleting comments, man. Why are you so concerned about me deleting your comment? Oh, that's all you got. That's all you have. That's all you got going on, man. You don't have no life. You don't have no business. You don't have no relationships. All you can do is be a troll on the internet. And that's why your ass is gonna get reset. Cause see, instead of messing with me, you should be doing something productive and working on your life. Mm-mm, you're gonna keep I know many of you are going to downvote this video because that's all you can do. And like he, he's talking, just download it. I ain't even going to watch the video. I'm just going to download it. That's the only reason you're coming here. That's the only reason you're coming here. And I've, I've noticed that some people have taken an interest in my old content because some of my old videos were getting like, oh, like nine, ten years ago. Getting comments, it's like, ah, huh, this is interesting. So, guys, once again, you know, as a follow-up to I feel good all over, I'm actually happier today than I was yesterday. And I know, I know the haters don't want, the haters, he's happy, he should, he's supposed to be just sad. And I, I've seen comments like, Aren't you worried about what's going on? Nope. Why am I worried? I got other things to worry about. I got businesses to worry about. I got employees to worry about. Why am I going to worry about a bunch of nobodies leaving dissenting comments? Why am I going to worry about that? I got better things to do. And, you know, like this new training. I've created some new training for the average person. And we're going to start on that tomorrow. If you're in the corporate papers, I'm going to give a different speech and give you a different training because we got to we got to get you guys started. We got to get you going, man. We got to get you going. So it's getting better. Each day it gets better because I went to the doctor recently and my cardiologist said, you actually have no signs of having a heart attack. He said, this is really, really good for you. This is, he said, I rarely see this. He says, there, there are people who are messed up for many years after what happened to you. Because you know, here, here's one of the reasons I'm doing so well. I am a compliant patient. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little story. There was this woman who was a complete and other asshole and she got sick and I knew that she was gonna die. And I know that sounds really dark, but I knew she was gonna die because she knew she was gonna be non-compliant. When you go through some kind of trauma and your doctor's treating you and giving you protocols, if you follow all your doctor's protocols, that's compliant. If you don't follow the protocols, that makes you non-compliant. And typically a lot of non-compliant people don't make it that long because these protocols like, you know, uh, my doctor is giving me medicine. I take all my medicine each and every day because I want to be here. But see, most of you clowns are non-compliant. 
you cannot stick with any protocol to develop any fruit. I'm just, and oh, guys, if you're going to insult me, put some creativity and thought in it. I mean, when I was a kid, we used to play this game called the Dozens, where we would talk about each other so bad that people would start fighting, people would break down and cry. You guys suck at insults. You completely suck ass at insults. And for you women who are leaving your, your long paragraphs, <sighs> you really think I care with a nobody like you thinks? You really, really think I care? You think I'm going to spend my time? I don't even read them. I just delete them. Why would I spend my time thinking about the thoughts and opinions of someone who doesn't matter to my life? That's stupid. You don't matter. You don't put no money in my pockets. You're not my friend. You're not in my circle. You're not at my level. Why would they even care about what you think? You are living in a basket or a van or you're struggling. You don't even have two nickels to rub together. Why would I care about what you think? Because people are like, this is so horrible. It's not horrible, actually. The money's starting to come in. Um, guys, you know, it is um, really, really crazy. And, you know, it's funny. Uh, my movers, I told them what I did. My movers was like, people are haters. Uh, when I moved in the building, I told the folks who helped me, move the, you know, who worked in the office, I told them what I did. He's like, people are, see, guys, living in the real world, even though I live on the internet, I also live in the real world. It's very, very different. No one calls me names and stuff except you clowns on the internet. You unaccomplished, broke ass clowns. That's pretty much, you know, the whole gist of this thing. Because, um, guys, I'm going to do some new content. I've got some new ideals. I got all kinds of stuff. And I just wanted to say thank you to the supporters. I can't say that enough. I'll probably be saying that quite a bit as we go in because I am loved much to the, the dismay of my haters. I am loved. People really, really love me. People really, really support me. And uh, there's some people online that I never was too friendly with them. We were friends from afar. I never met them. And now I see that was a good decision because they ain't shit. They're not shit. And um, it's going to get better. Let me tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to keep making content. Oh, for you folks, you should get off your internet. Really? What makes you the boss of me where you think you can actually tell me what to do? That is hilarious. You should, you should delete your, con your, your channels and you should just go away. Says who? You? Mr. Cow Mr. Eating cereal in your cowboy, in your, your cow print pants? You? Really? I should leave the internet because you feel that I should, oh, that's right, feelings. And you're all up in your feelings, little Timmy. You're all up in your feelings. And I'm gonna say something. Most of y'all are jealous. Most of y'all are pissed off and jealous that I can put up a video like that and it doesn't impact my businesses, doesn't impact, ain't really nothing other than you clowns on the internet. Doesn't really impact that because once again, I want to speak to the manager. I'm the manager. What's your complaint? I don't like what you did. You pedo. Fuck you. Take your complaints and stuff them up your ass. Sign the management. All right. So, uh, guys, like I said, you're going to see a new energy, new presentation from me. I feel revitalized, I feel recharged, I feel, and like, I'm right here, I just love this view. And you know, once again, I was kind of toying with moving into a high rise because, you know, I had this big old house on two acres and I was used to that. And I knew that moving 
to Buckhead or any city with a high rise, it was going to be more expensive and I was going to have less space. And I was kind of, you know, I was worried about, you know, like literally it takes me two minutes to get to my car. And I'm like, it's great. It's great. It's awesome. And I think I'm going to be here a while. I get to, I got some more artwork coming. I got, I can actually paint these walls if I wanted to. I'm, I'm thinking about painting them. Thinking about painting the wall in the bedroom uh, like a hot pink. I, could, I, I got things I can do, man. I got things I can do. But once again, um, to all of my supporters and for folks who are concerned, I appreciate the concern. I appreciate the sentiments. Thank you. But life is good. Life is great because um, this may shock you. I can get any of my exes back if I just said the right things. And there's one, and I'm, I love having sex with her. Oh, she got that wet, wet. I mean, the macaroni. She got, and she got the best fucking titties ever. But see, we were talking because she was supposed to, I was supposed to go get her. And I'll, I'll talk, I was supposed to go get her tonight. And then what she wants to do is have an instant, she wants to go back to where we used to be instantly. And um, I was open to seeing her, but I didn't want to like, and you know, getting back together was like her moving in and all this other stuff. I, I didn't want to do that, and I'm gonna tell you why. I feel that having this spot where I'm at right now is going to get me buku women. So I am not gonna allow someone to move in with me. <laughs> uh -uh. Because th that's where she wanted to do. She wanted to move in, and, and I'm just sitting here like, I, I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. Because one of the things that I'm seeing, you know, because when I was in the house, I was the only single guy in the neighborhood. And, dude, every time I get in the elevator, it's a banger. There was this one girl, she on these little sparkly shoes, she had the fake titties and stuff, but she was super cute. She was super cute. I'm like, every time I get in the elevator, and it's always like someone who's very attractive or very nice or very, I'm just like, man, I, I just been, today marks my first week here, my first week, and I am loving this. I am loving this. Like, when I come to the build, like, have you ever been in your car and you were heading home and you just start smiling? Like when I, when I'm coming off 400 and I hit up in there and I, I was like, I just start smiling. I'm like, this is the shit. This is, this is it. And all you clowns on the internet are so miserable. And I'm gonna say that, you, what kind of normal person goes and shits on another person that has done nothing to them. That ain't normal. That is the sign of a psychopath to go out and to try to inflict harm on someone who ain't done shit to you. That's psychopathic behavior. That's why I don't get no one, no one is saying anything in this building. I don't know if they know, but they don't treat me like this. And like I said, guys, we're gonna be, we're gonna do some good things. Like I said, I got a goal of fifty thousand corporate citizens. Um, we got work to do, and tomorrow it starts. Like this is a working weekend, because um, I got stuff to do, man. I got stuff to do, and I could be having sex right now if I wanted to uh, get in an instant relationship. And I'm just sitting there like, I ain't doing that. I'm just, because I told her, we were having a little conversation and you know, she wants support, she needs help and all this other stuff, which is fine. You know, I, I used to love this chick. I, I really did. 
And I was willing to visit getting back together, but what she wants to do is like, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, mm, no, 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 no. We're gonna take it slow. You ain't moving in. You ain't, this, 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 this is not, I, I just got a feeling. I have a feeling, guys. I am going, I just have a feeling that I'm going to meet the most amazing woman because I'm in this new space, this new energy. I, I just have this feeling. I'm just, some just telling me that something so good is going to come in my life right now. I'm just sitting there and it's just like, keep doing what you're doing. Keep working, keep building. Like I said, I could be fucking right now. If I wasn't mentally elevating because you know the Craigslist protocols I was a wild ass boy man I did some stuff I'm not ashamed I don't regret a damn thing I did I don't regret fucking the married women I don't regret I don't regret none of it but as I've seasoned and I've grown things have changed and I'm like I'm, this may be this superficial if you ain't kind of hot, you ain't even coming over. <laughs> like, what's the point? <laughs> I got a Porsche, a drop top Mercedes, and a BMW SUV downstairs. I know my worth. And I live here by my damn self. I know my worth in this economy, in this environment. I know my worth. And I'm just sitting here like, I see that, I know her name, I don't know what floor she lives on, but I see her again, I'm probably gonna ask her out. Cause that's the rhythm I was getting, cause she just started talking to me. It's like, that's nice. And like I said, it was a long day, I was a little tired. And I'm just sitting there like, I just have this feeling that I'm gonna make some, meet some amazing people, develop some amazing relationships, and level up. I mean, really, really level up, because I am loving the energy here. I am loving the energy. Everyone's nice. You want to know why they nice? Because they ain't no one, they ain't no one in here struggling. If you're on a struggle bus, you can't live here. I think the one bedroom is like 2,500 a month. I think that one bedroom is 2,500 a month. So we ain't got no normal folks up in here, which I love. I love it. I love it. And uh, today someone just, someone's here has that brand new Bentley wagon, Bentley truck, a Ferrari. There's, a, there's several Ferraris. There's a few Lambos in the garage. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Uh, I walked out and uh, saw the guy and I was like, hey, how you doing? He was like doing, he saw me drive up in the Porsche, then he drove out in the Ferrari. I like that. I like that. That was cool. Nice dude, nice dude. So, guys, we are going to get to work. We're going to get to work. We're going to, you saw the promo at the beginning. We're going to get to work. We're going to get to working on that first business and start making you some money. My goal is to get you the $1,500 to $5,000 per month in the next six months. That's what the curriculum is designed for because until you actually do something and start winning, it ain't real. You know, I can sit here and I can show you all what I'm doing. You know, it's very real for me, but for you, it's meaningless. It's like, okay, that's inspirational, Glendon, but I ain't making no money. So we got to get you to the point where it's real for you. And that's what I'm going to be working on the rest of the year, the training, the challenges. Like I said, today was a car day. Tomorrow will be a YouTube business day. And, um, well, when this video, because like I said, this video is coming out Sunday, even though I'm doing it Saturday. Um, we're going to, we're going to, you know, I, tomorrow that's what I'm working on. And I got to go shopping, man. Like when I moved out, I gave everything away. I gave all my dishes away. I gave my blender away. That stuff was like 12, 10, 12, 15 years old. I got some new flatware coming. I got some new dishes coming. I got some new art coming. 
Uh, I actually brought that art out of the storage unit because um, for backdrop and guys, you, these videos, they're going to get a little bit better. Get a little bit better. Get a little bit better. We're going we're gonna to do what we need to do. So once again, to my supporters, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to my haters and dissenters, kiss my black ass, you stupid fucks. You think you're doing something? You really think you're doing something? You're impotent. Look the word up, because most of you don't even know what that word means. But you're impotent. You're socially impotent and you're retarded. Because you weren't raised right. To go to someone else's house and be disrespectful that ain't done nothing to you, you weren't raised right. And I, all your little comments and little nasty stuff and the little digs, you're jealous. Because I'm richer, better looking, and can get hotter chicks. And there are many of you bitches who are leaving comments. If I really put my mind to it, I could get you. But I don't want you because you're stupid and you're going to be a member of the Globally Reset. You're going to be reset. I don't want no reset bunnies. I don't want no, like, once again, girl that wants to come back, she's not doing well. She's got some struggles. And once again, I wasn't going to discount that, but I, I, I just, just got a feeling, man, that some super good's coming my way. Just got a feeling. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.